Hello and welcome to my YouTube channel Infinite Learnopedia. In this video, let's discuss important MCQs for online exam subject Internet of Things IoT. This is first part of the MCQs. Let's get started. Question 1. MQTT stands for Answer is D. MQ Telemetry Transport. It is a lightweight protocol that runs on top of the TCP IP protocol. MQTT is IoT protocol. Second question is MQTT is better than HTTP for sending and receiving data. It is true. Answer is A. True. We want to send and receive data in real time through internet and RESTful API. It is not the most appropriate option to do this. Instead, we will work on MQTT which is lighter than HTTP. Next question. Number third is MQTT is DASH protocol. Answer is C. It is machine to machine and internet of things. It is a connectivity protocol. Next question. Does Raspberry Pi need external hardware? Answer is B. False. The Raspberry Pi can be used without additional hardware. It won't be much use as a general computer. Let's move on to the next question. Question number 5. Which protocol is lightweight? Answer here is A. MQTT. It is a lightweight protocol that runs on the top of the TCP IP protocol and works with publish subscribe mechanism. It is one of the connectivity protocol. Question number 6. Does RPI that is Raspberry Pi have an internal memory? Answer is A. True. The RPI has no internal storage or built-in operating system. It requires an SD card that is set up to boot the RPI. Moving to the next question, question number 7. How power supply is done to RPI? Your answer is A. It is done with the help of USB connection. The unit uses a micro USB connection to power itself. Only the power pins are connected so it will not transfer data over the connection. Moving to the next question, question 8, which instruction set architecture is used in Raspberry Pi? Answer is D, ARM. ARM assembler is used in Raspberry Pi. Machine language is built up from discrete statements or instructions implemented by a particular processor. Let's move ahead. Question number 9. What is the default user in Debian on Raspberry Pi? Answer is C. Pi. Linux users. User management in Raspberry is done on the command line. The default user is Pi and the password is Raspberry. You can add users and change each user's password. Question number 10. What are the distributions? Supported by the Raspberry Pi. Answer is D. That is all the distributions given in option D. Arch Linux, Debian and Fedora Remix. Question number 11. What bit processor is used in Pi 3? Answer is A. 64 bit. The first is a next generation quad core Broadcom BCM 2837. 64-bit ARMv8 processor. 12th question. Does micro SD card present in all modules? Answer is A. All the products have an inbuilt memory as well as an extended memory. How many USB ports are present in Raspberry Pi 3? Answer is C. 4. In Raspberry Pi 3, there is an upgraded switched power source that goes up to 2.5 ampere instead of just 2 amperes, allowing Pi to power even more powerful devices over USB ports. 
Next one is which is the software or a programming language used for controlling of Arduino? Answer is D. Any language. A program for Arduino can be written in any programming language for a compiler that produces machine binary machine code for the target processor. Heading towards question 15. Do Arduino provides IDE environment? Answer is A. True. Yes. It provides IDE environment. It includes code editing features such as text cutting, pasting, searching, replacing text, automatic identifying, brace matching, syntax highlighting and provides simple one-click mechanism to compile and upload programs to an Arduino board. So it provides IDE environment. Next question, what is the microcontroller used in Arduino U and O? Answer is A, 80 Mega 328P. It is a microcontroller which is 32 kilobytes of flash ROM and 8-bit microcontroller. How many types of Arduinos do we have? Answer is C. There are 8 Arduinos. Answer is C. That is 8. There are 4 Arduino boards and 4 Arduino shields that fit on top of Arduino compatible boards to provide additional capability like connecting to the internet, motor controller, LCD screen controlling, etc. So this was the last question of the video. This video will definitely help you with your online exams. Hit the like button, share with your friends and subscribe to the channel Infinite Learnopedia. Stay tuned for the next video on IoT. Keep watching.